Again, we are going to look at a comparison from our parent graph. So here I have my parent graph, y equals x squared. Right there, right? Done. So now I'm going to look at, sorry, the vertex form. y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Do I have a k in this problem? Am I adding or subtracting anything outside the function? No. So therefore, my parent graph is not going to shift up or down, right? Do I have an h? Am I adding or subtracting anything inside parentheses that's squared? No. Therefore, my graph is not going to shift left or right. All right? Do I have an a? Yes. How is the a going to affect my graph? Well, let's go and take a look here, OK? So the first thing I do is I graph our parent graph. 1, 2, 3, 4. Or I'm sorry, just 1 to 2. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we graph the parent graph. Up 1 over 1, up 2 over 4. Left 1, up 1, left 2, left, up 4. OK? So now what we're going to look at is how does that 3x affect the graph? Well, if you're going to look at a table, which I don't want to, which I don't want to go through again, but now I'm going over 1, right? So if you're going to plug in a 1, actually, let's do it. y equals 3x squared. Okay, so let's do positive 1. So if you put a positive 1 into this equation, 1 squared gives you what? 1. And that's how you graph the parent graph. But now it's 1 squared times 3. So I'm going to go over 1, up 1, 2, 3. Then let's do negative 1. What's negative 1 squared? 1. That's where the parent graph is. But now it's 1 times 3, which is going to go all the way up here. And then you guys could do 2. It's going to be off my graph. But over 2 would be up 12. Over negative 2 would be up 12. So therefore, you guys can see that the graph gets skinnier, right? It's horizontally compressed. And how do we know that? Because remember, I said absolute value of a when greater than 1 horizontally compresses the um, graph. Or we could say vertically stretches it. Right, Adar? OK? All right. So ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and spend some time.